Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I want to tell you about a new product that I just recently tried out. Today I'm going to tell you guys about the Railblazer Sandtrax All-Terrain Wheels. Now if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I recently did a review on the Railblazer Sea Tug Kayak and Canoe Cart. I absolutely love that thing. It's been a game changer for me. What these are, these are some extra wheels that you can purchase separately. And supposedly these things really help you move through sandy areas near the water. Included in the box are two of these all-terrain wheels along with another kickstand. As you guys can see, this all-terrain wheel looks slightly different than the standard one it comes with. And what it does is, this extra rim that goes around here, it kind of mimics the same systems that bulldozers and tanks in the army have. Um, it flattens out, as you can see. And when it compresses like that, it gives you more traction in the sand, or supposedly does. So let's go check it out and test it out on the beach. All right guys, so I tested these wheels out at Metro Beach with my kayak fully loaded with gear. First, I tried pulling my kayak through the sand with the wheels that I originally had, the non-all-terrain wheels. And boy oh boy, I'll let you guys know right now, it was pretty difficult. So then I switched over to the sand tracks, all-terrain wheels, and I instantly realized how much easier it was to pull my kayak through the sand. It's not even a question, there was a very noticeable difference. With the regular wheels, sometimes the wheels would stop turning and kind of drag in the sand. Whereas with the all-terrain wheels, the wheels were constantly moving and they never dug into the sand, no matter how many times I tried it. Another thing I love about the Railblazer system is how easy it is to switch wheels in and out. If I really wanted to, I could go from the regular wheels to the all-terrain wheels in no time at all just by lifting my kayak up. Now, if you have a really heavy kayak, this may not be as easy, but for my lifetime Teton 100, a smaller 50-pound kayak, even loaded with all my gear, it wasn't an issue at all. So are these wheels right for you? Should you buy these if you already own the Sea Tug? Well, it really depends. I compare these two wheels on sand, on grass, and on pavement. If you're gonna be predominantly using your cart on sandy areas, like you're gonna go right to the beach and only drag this thing through the sand, absolutely get this wheel. It's a no-brainer. It goes through the sand way easier. Uh, if you're gonna be going through a lot of grass, uh, I found that going through the grass, these are pretty equal. Uh, I didn't really see a difference between pulling it on the grass with this or with this. Now, if you're gonna be predominantly going on pavement, uh, this one's a little bit better. I mean, this wasn't bad, but this hard wheel, definitely better. So to sum it up, if you're gonna be mainly in grassy areas or on pavement, I would just stick with this. But if you're someone who lives near the beach and you're gonna be taking your kayak cart through the sand often, definitely give these wheels a try. I'm gonna leave a link to this product in the description below. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I rarely launch where there's a lot of sand, so I'm probably not gonna use this that often. I'm gonna be mainly sticking to this one right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And Railblazer, thank you for letting me try this product out. And until next time, guys, tight lines.